So welcome to Learning Partner. In this video, we are going to see how we install the Bootstrap in our Angular application and how we use the model pop-ups. Okay. So first thing is like we need to install the Bootstrap. So if you go to the npm and simply search the Bootstrap, so we get this right. And this is the command by which we install the Bootstrap. So the latest version is 5.0.1. So let's just copy this and let's go to the project, open the terminal, and paste this command and click enter. So what it will does, it will download the particular version that is 5.0.1 from the npm and keep it in, in our node model folder. Okay. So you can see it is it has added. So if I expand this, let me just refresh. If we go to bootstrap. Okay. So here you can see we have got the bootstrap installed. This is the first step. First, we have to install that particular uh, package using this command. Okay. Next thing is we need to add that link like CSS and the JS, whatever we are going to use from the bootstrap in the angular.json in the style section and the script section. Okay. So let me just copy paste this. Okay. This is nothing but just the path we have in this particular folder. Okay, this is the first thing you need to do. Let's save and let's run the application. NGS. Okay, so application is successfully compiled. Let's load the application. So when we run, by default, it will run on the localhost 4200. Okay, so let's open the user page. Yeah, so in the user page, let's try to implement the model pop up. So that is users. Okay, let's see the UI how it is. Yeah. So before this row, let's add a row call well button we need. Okay. So we have a simply open model, open model button. Now on click of this, we have to open the model. So if you can see the bootstrap, once I click on this, you can see this model pop-up is getting opening. Okay. So I just need a simple model pop-up code that is nothing but just a simple div with the bunch of classes. So this I have to put in my page anywhere, at, but uh, basically in, uh, just to stand uh, follow the standard process, we keep it all the models at the bottom of the page. Okay, so this is our model pop-up. Now, next thing is to, if, if I show you this, if I inspect this, just pay attention to the CSS it has. Let me just make it in line. Okay, so here you can see display block is there. And if I close it, so you can see display none CSS is getting applied to this particular div. If I open this, See again, display block is there. So it's just a simple CSS. When we click on the open model, that particular div is having the, C, uh, we are adding the CSS display block, which will uh, allow the model pop-up to open, okay? And if we make it none, it will get hidden. So that's same thing we have to do. So for that, let me just, yeah. So on click of this button, what we need to do? First, we need to write the click event open model now we need to create this function okay i have so much of code here but let me get rid of that okay so now here what we have to do first we have to select this particular div using this id using javascript okay so that will be document dot get element by id then we need to provide the id of that model div that is my model. So this will go over here. So up till now here we have selected that particular div. Then we need to add the style dot display is equal to block. But now since Angular 15, it, it will every time ask you to check for the null. So let me just hold constant model div. And we need to store this thing over here 
and then we need to add a null check like if model is not null whenever we are selecting any div using document.selector so it will ask us to do this we need to add it here and instead of that document.get element by id we can use the variable because we have stored the reference of this particular div into this variable right same thing let me copy paste and we need another event that will be close model okay now in close case we just have to add the other css that is none and i need to call this function in on this button click here also and same thing will go on the footer button also so let's just test it now okay if i click on open model you can see model pop-up is opening and if i click on the close same model problem is getting closed also let's see the css so this is our div so you can see currently this div has the css display none but once i click on it you can see display block is there and we get the model visible if i click on close you can see it is display none so with simply that two functions we can achieve the uh, model pop -up opening and closing then your content will be here in the model body like let's say user form list whatever things you have to show okay this is the simple code which you need to open and close the bootstrap model okay that was the first way another way is in angular.json you need to add the js also okay so let me just add the js it's not mandatory to add the JS unless you are going to use some functionality of, from the bootstrap.js. Okay. So currently I have added the script. If whatever the changes you are doing to angular.json, it is mandatory to run the application again. Otherwise, it won't take the effect. Okay. So whenever we do the changes to angular.json, you should run the application again. Means compile. Okay. Now, after adding the scripts, uh, script to your script section, Next thing is like, you don't need this click event. Okay, let me just make it call three. And I will just create one more button that will be without the click event. We just need some properties that will be data toggle and our target model. That is the ID of our div. It will go over here, open model. Let's just name it a two. Okay. Now, if I save it, now if you can see on this button click, I don't have the click event, but still that model will open. Let's see. Yeah, you can see, and it is getting closed also. If we remove the close button, let's try to remove the close button from the bottom. But we have data dismiss model, so it will close. Okay. So you can see without using or writing the event also we can achieve but there might be some need when you open the model you need to call some api when you close the model you need to call some api so in that case you can go for the events like this and write your custom code to add the css but if you don't have any such functionality you can just simply add the uh, bootstrap min.js because from bootstrap 5 it is it doesn't require uh, jquery previously it was uh, needed that you need to add the jquery also but bootstrap min.js along with version 5 is fairly built with vanilla js means only javascript okay so you now you don't need the jquery okay so with simple this these are the two ways first writing the uh, on button you need to call the event in the event you just need to select that model and add a dynamic css that display block to open the model and display none to hide it Otherwise, you just need a simply button with these two properties. And here you need to provide the ID of the model. This ID will go over here. Okay. And remaining code, you will have the same. So I hope you have liked the video. Please do like and subscribe. Thank you.